Heavy snow is causing widespread disruption across much of central and eastern Europe. At least 14 people have been killed and avalanche warnings are at the highest level. Ski resorts and mountain villages have been evacuated. And three regions in Austria have been declared catastrophe zones. Well, our correspondent Bethany Bell reports now from Scheibs in the foothills of the Austrian Alps. Winter has central and eastern Europe in its grip. For days now, much of the region has been covered in a thick blanket of snow. And more is on the way. In Turkey, roads have been blocked and ferry services cancelled. In Greece, temperatures have dropped to minus 23 degrees. The snow has even reached southeastern Italy, where some schools have been closed. But it's the Alps which have seen some of the greatest disruption and loss of life. There have been some spectacular rescues. This helicopter pilot near Chamonix in France couldn't land as he tried to save an injured climber. So he stuck the nose of his aircraft into a snowdrift in order to let the rescue team land. It's just a gain time when we have rapidly changing conditions on the mountain. Clouds can come down at any minute, so we choose to do this to deploy as quickly as we can. It's something we train for, not in such spectacular conditions, but we do practice. In Austria, some ski resorts and mountain villages have had to be evacuated. And it's a constant struggle to keep paths and roads clear. Austrians are used to the snow, but the sheer amount of it that's fallen in the past few days is making life very difficult for people here in the mountains. This path was shoveled clear just a short time ago. But as you can see, it's now completely white again. People are bracing themselves for more. Across the region, heavy snowfalls are forecast over the next few days. The risk of avalanches is very high.